Assalamu alaikum dear friends and dear students welcome to English podcast with Asif this is the 8th episode of the series it's been a while that i have not been recording podcasts i apologize for making you wait for so long but i must tell you that i've been feeling rusty you know sometimes you feel like not doing any work it happens you don't want to read you don't want to right you don't feel like painting or no matter what passion or what hobbies you have you don't want to do like that and i think that's natural uh, muslim psychologists would say that uh, there are two feelings or two uh, conditions in in one's life and they uh, are you know sometimes one is there and other and it goes on and on up and down so the feeling there are two feelings that that are uh, block and and flow okay if i um, do the translation properly of the terms that they used so uh, you feel like sometimes uh, that there is as if you know block in your head and you are not able to work you are not able to think you are not able to be productive in no matter work you are doing and uh, at that point of time you have got to be you know patient you have to wait until that flow feeling comes and you are passionate again you want to work you are productive you keep on reading and writing and no matter you know things you do so uh i thank almighty for making me able to attempt this again today and i ask you to pray for me uh, so that i keep on uh, sharing the ideas and i keep on uh, asking other people to share their ideas uh, with you the reason i uh, i have uh, you know i'm recording this uh, podcast today is that uh, my best friend and not only friend but a mentor a teacher mr wakas khan he recorded i had asked him to uh, record a podcast for me or for for all of us uh, on public speaking and uh, he did record that he sent me the recording uh, a couple of days back and uh, now i am finally that really pushed me to because the ideas that he shared are uh, worth worth uh, you know sharing with you and worth while they are so uh, mr wakas khan is is a brilliant uh, public speaker he also writes he has done masters in uh, convergent journalism and furthermore he has another masters in uh, uh, english literature he has a good a literary taste he sometimes writes poetry and and he uh, whenever he feels like writing he does write he is a trainer in public speaking and and uh, english language so i have asked him to share his ideas his thoughts about public speaking and today he is going to share his thoughts his ideas about public speaking the scope of public speaking why public speaking matters and how is it going to help you in your career in your education in no matter field you are in so without much ado i ask mr wakas khan my friend to share his ideas thank you very much wakas for joining us and for sharing your ideas and thoughts with us so here we go assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh i would like to begin in the name of allah most gracious and entirely merciful especially merciful may allah send mercy and blessings upon muhammad and upon his followers as he sent mercy upon abraham and upon his followers indeed our god our lord is praiseworthy full of glory i would like to thank mr asif for giving me an opportunity to be a part of his podcast and the topic that he has selected for me to speak on is public speaking i will try my best to answer the questions that has been put forward by him and inshallah i hope that uh, it will benefit people who have asked these questions the first question that has been asked by mr asif is whether uh, public speaking has any scope in our valley and if there is any scope uh, what are the fields that one can utilize and execute the skills of public speaking and be successful 
but I would uh, like to address the very basic question that pops up from the same question. It is about the scope itself. I personally believe that one can create scope in any field, in any field of he chooses uh, it could be humanities it could be technology it could be commerce it could be science or any possible field that is there available in, 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 in our in our society or in our region public speaking does not have scope only in our valley it has scope globally and to understand uh, the very core of uh, public speaking we have to first of all understand what does it help us in uh, it, 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 it helps us in motivating people, it helps us in influencing decisions, it helps us in creating social connections, it helps us in creating uh, critical thinking, uh, it develops our confidence very quickly than any other uh, practice. Uh, there's a book written by Dale Carnegie, although it's a compilation of the, the speeches that he has made and the compilation was done by by his wife later and the book is titled as uh, how to develop self-confidence and uh, influence people by public speaking uh, it's a very long title though but it is uh, it's worth uh, worth worth the go i mean you, you you must read it and uh, public speaking also helps us in developing leadership qualities and later you know turning us if one chooses to be a leader or a politician and uh, also we have to understand very specifically where only public speaking can help see we have to understand two things one if you are already in a profession or if you want to choose a profession where you may see perpetually or apparently you may see that uh, we do not require public speaking but if you have the skill of public speaking it can make your it can make your personality grow well and it can help you developing more in the in the profession that you have chosen and uh, may previously believed that public speaking is not required for example becoming a doctor you may not feel that public speaking is much required uh, in becoming a successful doctor because you mostly have to perform certain procedures which do not involve much larger gathering uh, you know uh, conversations or, or, or that sort of communication uh, similarly in any field um, it may be uh, it may be anything I mean public speaking is required in every field now talking specifically like what only public speaking can give you or where you can create a great scope for yourself or uh, public speaking can make you a great spokesperson for any organization or institution or any party uh, you know I mean by party I mean political party and it can make you a brilliant news anchor if you have you know hone those skills of, in public speaking uh, it can make you uh, re a public relationship officer you can be easily chosen on the on, on just the skill of how you are able to communicate with people how you're able to sell your words how effective you are in influencing people motivating them persuading them to do something it can make you a politician it can make you a religious leader it can make make you I mean we have many motivational speakers I mean one cannot be one cannot become a motivational speaker if he doesn't have if he doesn't have those specific and, and and brilliant public speaking skills it can make you a successful teacher I mean there, there we have a lot many teachers but those who are uh, uh, those who are public speakers they are they are they are performers I mean they, they become they become successful teachers because they are able to create such uh, brilliant connections with their students and they're able to motivate them or persuade them and, and they, 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 they build self-confidence in their students by showing off their huge uh, confidence skill set. It can make you a great leader. I mean, leader of, leader of any, 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 any um, ideology, if, if you're promoting some ideology and if you have this public speaking skill set. And we have seen in the past, uh, whatever, the, whatever the differences we have with, with, uh, with Adolf Hitler, but he, 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 he says, and I quote, uh, the greatest revolutions in the world has not been brought by great writers, but by great speakers. Though we know that, that, that the support of an ideology has always come up from the book. And the greatest revolution, as I should uh, quote or paraphrase the same, that Eman Roy, a, a great communist leader, said that the greatest revolution was, was brought by Muhammad, uh, the last prophet uh, of Islam. Uh, he was not a writer. He was a public speaker, and and we know that the first speech that he made, he went onto uh, onto the mountain of Safa and called people and 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 talked 
talk to them. So uh, it is the public speaking. Now, if we talk about Martin Luther King, if we talk about uh, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, if we talk about Malcolm X, uh, famously known as Malcolm X, and if we talk about Ernesto Che Guevara, if we talk about Fidel Castro, or many leaders, I mean, there are, there are thousands of examples of people who had great skill set uh, in public speaking, who were able to communicate with people in larger crowds, in larger gatherings, and, and influenced them, influenced their brains. Some had uh, some destructive ideology, but with their with their skill set of public speaking, they influenced influenced many people. So yes, it can make you, it can help you in 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 in, in uh, you know uh, developing your your profession that you are already in. I mean, becoming making you more uniquely successful, or you can just have this skill set honed, uh, honed and 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 develop it, and you can learn. It, it is a profession. It is itself a profession. If you are just a public speaker, it is definitely a profession. And all 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 the things that I ha that I um, that I said, uh, you can choose any other field, and it has great scope. It has absolutely great spo uh, scope uh, in our field and globally as well. I hope I answered the question. The first one. The second question is: How can one suppress anxiety speaking in public? Uh, this is a very common question asked by many of my students or many of my audience wherever I speak. Uh, first of all, we have to understand uh, one thing and rather accept this thing that uh, public speaking is, is the most important and feared uh, uh, skill or feared practice. It is, it is a very common saying in, in public speaking uh, training uh, that a stage can make you or it can break you. It is also said that uh, public speaking, I mean stage, by stage I mean public speaking, stage can make you successful in two ticks or it can make you absolutely worthless in no time as well. If you once get humiliated on a stage, uh, the kind of humiliation you're going to face there is, is going to be disastrous. Or if you're able to give a great performance, if you're able to talk brilliantly on a stage, you are going to be absolutely known to people who are unknown to you. And that's what we call fame. If people who you, who you don't know, they call you by your name, it's, it's, it's the greatest feeling one can have. And public speaking is, is, is a skill that can, that, can, that can provide you this particular happiness or success. Now coming to the coming back to the question that how can one suppress anxiety while speaking in public? I am I'm reminded of this wonderful quote, rather I believe that this is one of the greatest advice one can one can one can one can adopt in his is in his life. It's a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson, an American essayist, a, a great thinker and philosopher. He says, and I quote, uh, "Do the things you fear, and the death of fear is certain." One has to first of all and primarily practice facing the fair. You know, going first time on stage, it's going to be absolutely, uh, you know, full of nervousness and, and, and you may shiver, you may feel that your body is burning, you may feel that you're falling from one or other side. A lot of things happen on stage for the very first time. But the only thing that you can you can you can you can suppress your anxiety with is by going again and again and again and again no public speaker on the surface of earth who has lived or will come or is right now can tell you this thing that a public speaker fears nothing he fears every time when he goes on a stage exactly like a writer or uh, an, an absolute uh, perfect and absolute uh, skilled and a, a published writer when he writes he fears the blank page similarly whenever a public speaker goes on a stage even if he has spoken for years and years and years some part of nervousness is already always there but what you have to do as as cliched as it is you have to fake it till you make it. You don't have to show off your weakness. It is okay to be afraid. It is okay to be nervous. But you just ha have to control yourself and do not reflect that you're nervous or you have any sort of 
anxiety you become anxious while going on a stage you just have to practice it again and again and again I can make you I can make an analogy for you to understand if a person has not learned swimming and if he goes for the very first first time near the shore near the bank of a river and he, he doesn't jump into the deep waters he swims by the side of the bank because he knows the uh, the water is not that deep and he, he, he cannot drown there. Similarly, one has to choose smaller gatherings first of all. I mean, primarily in the in the field of public speaking or when, once he starts practicing in, 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 in the field. What he has to do, he has to keep on trying and trying and trying. You know, he has to swim by the banks where the water is not that deep, where he can handle maybe a crowd of 20 people or maybe 30 people. You know, one has to do a lot, a lot of practice and, and, and do some mock exercises in public speaking. And oh, he has to grow, uh, you know, step by step. And by and by, he will be uh, developing that self-confidence. Once he, once a swimmer learns, I mean, once, once a budding swimmer learns s swimming of all types or at least of one type, one, one, one skill of swimming, he has that confidence that he will not drown. He may have the fear of, uh, deep waters, but he knows that you you know he has he has the skill of 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 swimming. Similarly, in the case of public speaking, one has to speak in smaller crowds. First of all, it's 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 a suggestion. It's a suggestion I'm I'm giving to 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 the to to my listeners. I mean, uh, what one has to do is to speak in smaller gatherings first of all, and then keep on trying and trying and trying and do some mock exercises in public speaking do mirror practice before you go out and 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 and, and you have to speak on on a stage and you know one one also has to understand that unless a person has thought out and planned his talk and and, and knows what he's going to say hey he can't feel very comfortable you know because he he has to face the audience and, and, and he is like the blind leading the blind if he doesn't know anything what he's talking about, as, as Carnegie says in his book, you know. It's like it's like the, the blind leading the blind if one goes without preparation. And that's that's actually and exactly what makes one anxious and nervous. But yeah, there are many other things one is nervous about and is, is anxious about, is you know, feels afraid of the stage, has that stage fear. But practice, practice and practice. And I again quote do the things you fear and the death of fear is certain that's going to help that's how you suppress your anxiety while speaking in public and and during your talk if you feel anxious you just have to take long breaths you just have to calm yourself down you should not be in a rush and you always have to remind yourself that audience wants you to win you are the leader they have already given you this uh, stage and they have already chosen you as their leader the time is yours you can influence them whatever you're going to say they are your reflection they are your um, replicas there they're just there to help you no audience likes when a speaker commits a mistake or falls off from the ground or feels you know and and and, and looks no, nobody likes that. Everybody feels sorry for that. But if a speaker is great, if a speaker is able to influence them, they love it and they're they going to clap for it. It is said that they're going to laugh. Maybe sometimes they're going to laugh at you in the beginning of your of your public speaking career. But later they're going to laugh with you. And, and, and when audience are, when audience is going to laugh with you, that's the greatest of success a public speaker can have. I hope I, I answered the second question. Thank you so much Vakas for this beautiful talk. Dear audience, dear listeners, this much is enough for today. This topic will inshallah continue in the next episode. Keep listening to us and if you have a question about public speaking and want to know more about it, then write in the comment box. I'm sure that this episode was very helpful you came to know about a lot of things about public speaking how it can help you develop your career your personality and your self-confidence so share this beautiful information with your friends with your loved ones for support please like the video if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing if you have any suggestions we are open to criticism we are open to your advice and suggestions kindly write them down too thank you very much for being so patient with us god be with you